Here's here, Ryan. <laughs> There's a lot of short period wind swells in this region which are good for the beach breaks. So it's a lot of weather that's generated kind of between Iceland and Norway in sort of the North North Atlantic and I guess the Norwegian Sea it's called. North Sea isn't it? Yeah. Um, those are your short period wind swells which are good on the beach breaks on here. Longer period swells if the window comes between like Iceland and the Faroe Islands those are the ones you want to start to get the reefs working and uh, sort of the spots that we only are lucky enough to surf when those big longer period swells come. There's a lot of longboard waves for sure, especially here. And we have good like waves for fishes, shortboards, we've got everything. <laughs> waves pretty yeah. consistently depending on whether it's a tiny wind swell, big storm where it's wrapping into the fjord or yeah. a big solid ground swell. There's a lot of contour to the coast of Norway so if you're willing to mission yeah. there's a lot of spots around. It just takes quite a long time to get from one to the next because of the fjords and the mountains. Well as a traveling travel surfer I would definitely go to start surfing yeah. It's you say it's cheap. It's the cheapest here. And you kind of help yourself, you know. You got your own kitchen, showers. And you can see the lineup from your bedroom. Yeah. You can see the beach. It's only 100 meters away. And uh, there's not too many beaches where you can get accommodation on the beach breaks or on any of the breaks, really. So it's a good place to base yourself. Mm -hmm. 